Welcome everyone, I'm Jordan Sharp as we head into rookie mini camps here this summer. A lot of interesting uh, movement here going on in some of the NFL future odds right now. Of course, pending a uh, probable now Tom Brady suspension looks to be going, being announced here sometime next week. So a uh, crucial look here at the AFC future odds right now according to Bet365 Sportsbook. See where uh, potential value could be opening up if in fact Tom Brady is suspended. Now, heading into it, Bet365 still has the New England Patriots as the favorites to win the AFC Conference right now at plus 350. Uh, no doubt here that uh, even if Tom Brady is suspended, I likely, uh, I think they'll likely be only for a couple of games, maybe four at most, but that does seem like a little bit high as well. Either way, it's not going to crush the New England Patriots. I sincerely doubt we're going to see an eight-game suspension or a, a complete season-long suspension for Tom Brady here. So definitely the Patriots should still be considered the favorites to win this division, I think. But plus 350 now, that's uh, a little bit questionable, and I think it's opening up some value on some other teams, specifically team right behind them that Bet365 has at 5-1, to one, and that's the Indianapolis Colts here. Pick this team to uh, potentially go undefeated this year is that uh, the value, I think, is there. Uh, for the with the schedule as well, if they everything comes together for this team, they had a lot of great offseason additions here. Even though a lot of people crapping on their draft, the addition of Frank Gore and Andre Johnson, if those guys are healthy for the whole season, it's going to improve this offense drastically. I also signed Kendall Lankford, which is a great pass rusher defensive end, uh, formerly of the St. Louis Rams. That is going to add a ton to this defense as well. If they can continue playing defense like they were at the beginning of last season. I think this team has a lot of value at 5-1 to one to potentially win this conference, uh, not only in the regular season, but uh, potentially uh, get to the Super Bowl as well. Next team up is the Denver Broncos right behind the Colts at plus 550. Now, Broncos, I think, kind of pushed this offseason. They lost their coach, still have Tom Brady, tagged Marius Thomas, lost Julius Thomas, lost a couple of the guys in their defensive line. Really looking like a team that made lateral, lateral moves this offseason. Not quite sure at plus 550. They're a team, type of team I'm looking at here for future odds wager, especially when you have the Indianapolis Colts right there at 5-1. to one. Why waste your time with the Denver Broncos here? A team with a lot of question marks at plus 550. So probably a line I'm laying off of. Uh, potentially if they start playing better, uh, you know, it, it could be, uh, I think, on tap. But I would have to see the line, I think, probably more closer to 6 or 7-1 to one before I would even consider Denver uh, here to win the AFC. Finally, the Baltimore Ravens come in at 9-1 to one to win the AFC Conference here this offseason uh, off here for Bet365. Interesting team here, a team that drafted really well, I think, has a solid defense. So really the only question mark to this team is who is Joe Flacco going to throw the ball to? Steve Smith, aging, obviously still can get it done, but doesn't really have many other guys along with him. They lost Torrey Smith, to San Francisco in the offseason, so a lot of question marks, I think, for this team in the offensive side of the football, but if uh, Dorsett, uh, um, if uh, their running game can continue the way it was uh, in, in 2014, I think this is a really, really good football team uh, if they can find some offense here, but that'll do it for your uh, NFL AFC Future Odds update. Make sure you check out my NFC Future Odds update as well later on, but until then, I'm Jordan Sharp, and this has been another edition of the, of the Sharp Pick.